Portugal's rugged coastline is filled with a wide variety of world-class waves. It's become a breeding ground for surfing talent as the sport's popularity has grown. We're in Cascais, a little corner in Portugal. This is where I live. You got fun wives, you good food, nice people, and yeah, beautiful place. My whole family used to play rugby. My uncle, he coached our national team. I always loved rugby, but my passion for surfing started really young. Seeing guys like Mick Fanning, Kelly Slater, that made me want to achieve my dreams and follow my dreams. Tiago Perez was the trailblazer for Portuguese pro surfers. The powerful natural footer inspired and paved the way for guys like Frederico Marais. I qualified in, in 2007, and from then on, it was just this machine that was created and it was just going. European fans are out of control, they love it. Tiago is like an older brother to me. He means a lot as a person and as, as, as a surfer. When he qualified, he opened us so many doors to the world of surfing compared to, to what he had before. Portugal was like under the radar for a long time, you know. We really have a special country for surfing and we have amazing reef breaks, amazing beach breaks. To surf them well, you have to learn to read the wave well and draw beautiful lines. Kikas has that, he's a really lucky guy. He knows instinctively what maneuvers fit a section, so he's very good at selecting the right turn for the right part of the wave. Well, first time I, I saw Federico, I think it was the year 2000. Grom with his dad coming, running into me, super excited, wanting a picture, an autograph. Four years after, someone recommended me Nuno, Federico's dad, because he's a physio. I spent a lot of time, unfortunately, inside Nuno's office working on my injuries. And I got to know Federico. You know, Nuno always wanted me to take Federico out for surfs. And then we became really, really close. We don't have you know, a lot of good surfers uh, in Portugal like as you have in Australia or you know, in America or Brazil. Here you need to surf with the best surfers so you can feel like you're improving you know, and challenge yourself. I know him from a long time and I surf with him almost every day so I know the potential he has. As a junior he didn't really have very strong results. Portugal is a very small country, so sometimes when things are not going right, there's a lot of critics, you know, and one thing I really like about Murai's family, they were very determined not to listen. From the beginning, they thought on a larger scale, you know, they didn't need the results straight away. They were kind of working for the future. He's got this very unique uh, mind set up, and when he puts something in his head, he never changes, He's, he, he goes until the end. <laughs> I saw a lot of work in the kid, but I saw a lot of potential too. And, you know, Fred's got something in his eye. You just when you speak to him, you know, there's an eye contact there and there's an intensity. In 2016, Frederico pulled one of the greatest season ending runs ever seen on the qualifying series. It's so crazy that a career is hinged on one score. Frederico Moraes gets the score. The psych factor is real. You gotta love that moment. He entered the final two events of the season, ranked number 46, seemingly without any hope of qualifying. That <laughs> one's back in two seconds. I mean, an equal first with John John, and then Geordie, the animal, just beats him. Like, come on, that's freakish. He finished second at Haleiwa, then repeated the feat at Sunset jumped all the way to number three on the QS, and qualified for the championship tour. Frederico, he is safe and on a championship tour next year. And in 2017, on surfing's biggest stage, he's kept the surprises coming. Frederico has been really impressive. He's rock solid with his repertoire, and Richard Marsh has really helped him. Jaber, he was, he was incredible, it was really cool to watch. For the history books, you know, he's, he's, he almost won the event. Here goes Marias, driving down the line. So composed the rookie, never lets the occasion get the better of him. Jay was the best event of my career. Crazy. Best place I've ever surfed, I would say. 
so many hits, so many good scores, uh, getting my first 10 point drive. Yeah, it was a, it was a crazy week. Well done, man. Hey. Maybe beginning of the year, no one knew who I was. And right now they're looking at me and they're talking about my surfing as if I was a top 10 surfer. And that, that's amazing, that's a goal. You can only feel proud. I've been with Fred for quite some time and, and I know what he's capable of and I know he's that person and athlete that loves a challenge and actually really steps up to that challenge. Portugal's grown as a surfing nation. They are so passionate about surfing, about their national heroes. Fred's getting to that status now where he really is one of their top 10 sporting personalities. It's amazing to see everyone really supporting him. I'm not really surprised. I'm just a bit surprised on the, you know, the confidence he's surfing and you know, it looks like he's competing on the tour for years now. We've been chasing this dream since, well, since I started surfing. Once we're in it, you just gotta grab the opportunity and take it.